This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4456871. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 21st, 2021, 14 days after the public meeting will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the public meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. The presentation is available on the project's webpage. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith and the number two, and I'll spell that for you, it's J-E-N-N ifer dot s m i t h and the numeral two at dot dot state dot f l dot u s. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swan East Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399, by phone at 850-414. 4753, or email at Jacqueline.Paramore, and again, I'll spell that. It's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R-A-M-O-R-E at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location and on the project website, as well as in the hearing notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register, on FDOT's public notice website, in the Riverland News, and on the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, and elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. As mentioned, the project is in Marion County on South William Street, US 41 between the Britton Alexander Bridge and River Road in front of Dunnell and City Hall. The FDOT is making, making changes to enhance pedestrian safety by upgrading the crosswalk. The project will also improve safety for drivers by reducing the opportunity for left turn collisions. As part of determining safety improvements on this project, conflict points were evaluated. These conflict points are locations along a roadway where the pass of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. Currently, the crosswalk is located on South William Street between the North Florida Avenue boat ramp and the southern end of the Donnellan City Hall parking lot. Southbound motorists frequently make illegal left turns around the crossing into the Anglers Resort Motel and the Blue Gator. This turning movement can conflict with northbound motorists and those making legal turns into the North Florida Avenue boat ramp, increasing the opportunity for a crash. This project proposes shifting the pedestrian crossing approximately 150 feet to the north of the current location and adding a mid-block pedestrian signal, which we'll outline in more detail shortly. This change will increase pedestrian safety by stopping traffic and reduce conflicts with motorists on South William Street. By shifting the pedestrian crossing north, more room is created to allow for the construction of a bi-directional median opening. 
The bi-directional median will allow southbound motorists on South William Street to make legal left turns into the Anglers Resort Motel and the Blue Gator, utilizing the newly created turn lanes within the median. Motorists exiting Anglers Resort Motel and the Blue Gator will be restricted to right turns. They will be able to make left turns and U-turns beyond the new pedestrian crosswalk if they wish to continue south. The bi-directional median will also allow northbound motorists to turn left from South William Street into the North Florida Avenue boat ramp. The new crosswalk, shifted north, will feature a mid-block pedestrian signal. This signal will behave like a traditional traffic light for motorists and pedestrians. This animation shows how a typical mid-block pedestrian signal works. For motorists, the mid-block pedestrian signal is similar to a traditional traffic signal that you will find at most major intersections. The signal stays green until activated by a pedestrian. Once activated, the signal turns yellow as a warning to motorists to slow down, and then it turns to red to stop approaching traffic from both directions. For pedestrians, the experience at a mid-block pedestrian signal is also nearly identical to that of a traditional traffic signal. When approaching the crossing, the pedestrian signal will show the don't walk symbol. By pressing the button requesting to cross, the pedestrian signal will indicate that you may walk after the overhead signal has turned to red. You should only proceed if you are sure it is safe to cross and drivers have come to a complete stop. Finally, the don't walk symbol will begin flashing on the pedestrian signal, encouraging pedestrians to finish crossing as the light is about to turn green. You should never begin crossing while the don't walk symbol is shown. Once complete, the improvements on South William Street between Britain Alexander Bridge and River Road in front of Dunellen City Hall will greatly enhance safety for pedestrians through the incorporation of the mid-block pedestrian signal and bi-directional median. In addition, Access management practices increase mobility and efficiency for motorists, reducing congestion and allowing more vehicles to safely navigate the roadway. Moving forward, the design of this project is anticipated to be complete in early 2022 at a cost of $301,000. The improvements will be constructed entirely within the existing right-of-way and therefore will not require property acquisition. And finally, Construction is anticipated to begin in summer of 2022 at an estimated cost of $400,000. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 21st, 2021, 14 days after the public meeting will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments can also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445687-1. You can also contact the project manager, Sue Howe, directly by email at sue.how, and that's su dot h-a-o at d-o-t dot state dot f-l dot u-s, or by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station number 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5161 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. This contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, Thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by September 21st, 2021. Contact information, a recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445687-1. Have a good evening.